my buddy that goes to uh, that's up there at the uh, he's now going to be the head guide at at uh, the drift lodge. I tie 500. The first the first group of flies was 500 flies of this pattern. This is called a ram. This is a size 16, 2x long hook. This is a barbless hook that's in here. It's just a, just a nymph hook, but it's two the hook shank's 2x long. Um, 90% of the fish that the clients catch are on this fly um, inside the park. So it's a simple tie. Um, it's, it's important that you get the right colors and the, and the materials are, are important. I've tried, I've tried in a dark brown. I prefer a more olive, uh, a, a darker olive color than this, um, this that we have out today. But you can use Antron, you can use crinkled Zelon. Um, this is, this is, uh, I bought some of that uh, Bonnie's uh, craft cord. And that's what this is. And then I split it out. I buy the four millimeter. And then by the, I use this for my parapose everything. The only problem with it is, is it's color fast and I haven't been able to get it to dye. As soon as I figure out how to, how to get this stuff to take a dye, um, I'll be a millionaire. So, magic marker on it? Yeah, that's too time consuming. <laughs> well, you're tying 500 of these. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna get out a magic marker. Okay, so you start out one of the things that we had a we had a tire come to the Bountiful Fly Club last week, and it was driving me nuts because every time he did a reference on the hook, he'd say, "Oh, do it. Start your thread about oh a sixteenth of an inch back, or an eighth of an inch, or that." You know what? We're we're tying flies, and everything that you do in tying a fly is off a reference point. So you've got, you've, you've got several points of reference on the hook. One is the eye of the hook, and where it bends, where it bends to the point of the hook is what they call the eye, okay? So that's a reference point. So when I say you start your thread about two widths of the eye back, you're going to start your thread here and start your wrapping to wrap back. Now, the reason why you do that, and if you get in the habit when you tie, you get in the habit of always starting your thread at your reference point, you won't crowd the eye of the hook with your flies. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you start out two eyelets or eye widths back, start your thread, and then I take this color, the green, snip it off so I have a good square point, and then I loosely wrap it and pull it back. To where I can get in there and start wrapping, and I wrap the I wrap the thread back to the bend of the hook. And then I go back up and I stop at, at my reference point. All right, so we've got the thread on. Now, wet your fingers a little bit and pull those fibers back. And as you pull them back, twist them. You're going to make a really tight braid on this. Then start your rotary, 
and just rotary it up. Oh, come on. Back up to your reference point. Straight up, stop. Two wraps in back, one in couple in front. Snip that off. That's how you segment the body. Then to get the shuck, you just take some of that white, wrap it around your thread, pinch it in your fingers, and pull it up tight. Now, as you pull that, let it let it rotate on you a little bit, and then put a head on the fly. And as you tie that, go back up on that a little bit. Come back in with your whip finisher. Tie this off. I was fishing Barnes Pools one day and my wife decided that since she retired and doesn't have a lot of money to go spend at the, at the clothing stores, she's decided that she would take up fly fishing so that she could buy all new gear and everything. So we were in the park in Barnes Pools and I was fishing with my wife and, and uh, Jamie and uh, I was helping my wife and my wife just started catching fish like crazy. And Jamie's downstream 40 yards and if you've ever fished in, the, in Barnes Pools at the park, um, it's always packed and there's always like five guys standing there watching you fish. It's just like, it's like the middle Provo, but we're in there, but it's a good place for people to catch fish. You catch a lot of fish in there. So my wife's catching fish and Jamie starts yelling, what are you using? What are you using? I said, I'm using presentation. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not telling, telling you what fly I'm using. I says, if you'd like a fly, you walk up here and I'll give you a fly. So she walks up, hand her one of these rams. She goes back down and ties it on, starts catching fish almost every cast. And she was so embarrassing because every time she'd hook a fish, she'd scream, fish on, fish on. And I'd be like, Jamie, shut up. I says, nobody wants to see, hear you catching fish. He says, they're all watching you. You don't need to be advertised. I thought we were going to get run off the we river. Like that, we? I do. Well, I thought we were going to get run off the river. And that's, and that's the ramp.